Hi, happy Thursday. How are you? Uh, I just got back from the salon and I have red hair. Can you see it? So it's kind of auburn. Um, I got some bangs too. So I thought <clears throat> that I was going to get blunt bangs, but I couldn't. What do you think? I'm a little bit worried. <laughs> Mainly because I feel like um, you know, my face is round and I don't know how the bangs would look. So we started with a little bit shorter and then maybe next time if I feel confident we'll just lob them off. But anyway, I really like the red and um, yeah, cute. I feel cute anyway. That's good. <laughs> It's been this really, um, really trying week, really trying week. We've got all the stuff coming, coming, I was going to say coming down, but really we do. Our ceiling fell down in the bathroom and, um, you know, just stuff. I mean, it's rental, so they're taking care of it, kind of. Uh, and, you know, and just stuff is happening and, and work is just, it's a lot and I'm, I'm really wanting to sort of hold it together and this week I found myself really just kind of struggling, I think, kind of struggling sort of to sort of like get back to me, get my energy in order. And I think doing Thursday Late Leaves today will really help me remember all the things that I'm really excited for and grateful for. So I hope that you like my list today. Okay, so we're going to do a couple makeup things. So on Linda's recommendation uh, from Rosella Mode, if you saw her last week, she mentioned, um, I'm looking down because it's over here, uh, this Rimmel eyeliner. It's the Coal from Rimmel. Soft Coal from Rimmel. Okay. Uh, it's really good, actually. Um, I needed a new pencil. You saw my little teeny tiny Clinique. Egyptian liner so that was out but I have this on today and I just did the just a tiny tiny little line with it but it stays on it goes on really smooth and if you do your waterline which I sometimes like to do um, this doesn't come off so I thought it was great I had six dollars in CVS CVS bucks and I got this I don't like that the sticker's on it. I don't know if you're like crazy like me, but I tried to get it off and it won't come off and I think it looks messy. It's driving me crazy. Okay, second of all, um, I had really chapped lips this week and I think it's a combination of chlorine from swimming uh, and cold weather plus running outside. So my lips just get wrecked. I use um, this thing from, hold on. Neosporin, I think, they make a lip balm that's like, it, it's a magic healing, but my lips still looked a little bit rough, so three days in a row, I actually used this gloss, so it's from MAC, it's um, this creme sheen gloss, and, or creme sheen, I guess, in boy bait, so as you know, I buy things in like sets, <clears throat> so first I had bought two other colors, and I bought this one third, it's kind of, it's it's actually, I have it on now. It's kind of like this pale, kind of like pale neutral. And um, I really like it. You know, I've been leaning towards brights anyway. So um, I thought, oh, this will at least show a little bit less of the chaffing. So I've been using this three days in a row, which is probably a record for me because I change my lip color pretty much every day. I like it. It goes on so slippery and um, it, it has, you know, that that um, MAC vanilla scent, which is really nice. And every time I see it in the mirror, I'm just like, oh, that's kind of cute, you know? Like, why did I abandon this? So anyway, we're back on me and the boy bait and the eyeliner. Wore both of them at least two days in a row for the eyeliner and three days for this guy. So I was kind of loving that this week. Okay, other things. Let's see. Okay, I bought something that actually made my life really easy this week. It's from Trader Joe's, and I ate the whole thing, but I'll show you the container. <clears throat> it's this. So it's Healthy 8 
chopped veggie mix. And I don't usually buy pre-sliced anything. Like, I think it's really, or at least I thought it was a waste of money. But you know what? So it says that this has broccoli, carrots, green cabbage, red cabbage, jicama, green bell pepper, radish, celery. So you buy this. It says it's five servings. I'm going to tell you, I think it's one. But I, I made two salads because I mixed it with watercress. And, um, sorry, I'm not used to, like, the bangs being shorter yet. Uh, so the tahini, so I have tahini, so I, I fluffed a little bit of tahini with a little salt and pepper and water and just, like, until it fluffs. And then I poured a little bit of it over. I gotta tell you, this thing was great, and I had two salads ready to go. It, like, it made my day. I had, like, these quick dinners, and I was, like, it was awesome, actually. I'm gonna buy it again. When we go shopping, I'm getting it again, because you know what? I thought it was great. It totally made my week. So, something else. Um, my sister and Craig, they came over Saturday night. We had a little, you know, thing for them because they're getting married, which is awesome. And my sister made biscotti. So my sister, she is a wonderful biscotti maker. I have never asked for the recipe. I do not want to make her biscottis. I would like her to make them for me, and then I will just eat them. Uh, there's, I'll show you what the biscottis look like. I have some here, so I wanted to show you. She makes these, these pretty little biscottis, and uh, I don't even, I can't even tell you, it's like, it smells like almond and vanilla, and there's just something kind of, I think, really nurturing about having someone else make you food. Like, does it ever happen, like, you have something that someone made for you, or gave to you, and you're like, Oh, this is, like, so nice. It, like, it doesn't just feed you. It, like, it feeds your soul, you know? Like, you know, you ever have your mom make you a sandwich? And you're like, this is the best sandwich. Like, you make your own sandwich. It doesn't taste good. But somebody else, like, your mother makes you a sandwich. And you're like, that's amazing. It tastes so good, you know? Because it's like someone, I don't know, does something nice for you. Feeding other people is just really, really sweet. So, anyway, it makes me think of my sister when I, I don't know, even just opening the container, I'm just like, oh, my sister. It's so sweet. So, it just, it gives me warm fuzzies. Okay, last thing. One more thing. Uh, so, anyway, a little stressed, a little stressed out at work. And um, this woman that I, I don't work directly with, I don't see her very often, but she noticed in a meeting today. Which I just, I don't like to, you know, <clears throat> I, I didn't even say anything to her. Actually, all I said was hi, but I guess she noticed. So... She brought me a flower. I mean, okay, let me show you. Look, I left it in the container because it has a little water thing at the bottom. Look how pretty. Anyway, she gave me this. She called me at the end of the day and said, are you going to be in your office for five minutes? I said, yeah, come on up. I mean, she's so darling. I'm like, yeah, I didn't know what she wanted. And she brought that. And I was just so surprised. I mean... It was such a kind thing to do, and she said that I didn't seem as smiley as usual, so she wanted to cheer me up. And you know what? I, I know she's got a good heart, but it just, it struck me as so, it was so moving for me. Just, I felt so special, and I just felt like, you know what? Other people are really kind. Like, your ceilings can be falling down, and everything can just be kind of just crashing down around you, but there are really nice people out there, so just... You have to be grateful that, you know, someone cares. So anyway, I thought about this on the way home from work, and I think I want to do another 10-day give. So if anyone wants to do it with me, um, let's maybe start uh, on the 15th. Want to start on the 15th? January 15th? We'll do the 15th through the 25th. Um, you don't even have to say what you're doing, but just, just the idea of giving to others you do something every day to give and just give back and um you know it can be little things it can be big things it can be really whatever you want but I think that's going to make me feel better I do um and I think just you know Angie doing this today giving me this beautiful rose and this beautiful packaging and just telling me she was thinking of me it really just it made me feel so good and I want to make somebody else feel good I don't want to be like just you know you know hard jaw and just uh, just sort of grimacing through things so I think um that's really that's really what my takeaway point was today so 
yeah, I'm grateful for a lot of things. I have a really good life. And uh, this weekend, we are going to go to Portland on Saturday. That's my sister texting. Uh, so we're going to go to Portland and spend the day and go eat yummy food and see things and stuff like that. And I'm um, just have a really good time. And Monday's a holiday. And um, yeah, so everything's good. Everything's good. It's going to be good. <laughs> what can you do? So that's about it. Um, if you want to vote in on the bangs, let me know because I'm, you know, I might need a little push in this area. So uh, anyway, that's it. I hope that you have a wonderful week and, um, you know, that you're doing what you like to do. And I don't know, everybody's happy too. So go give out some flowers and, I don't know, we'll see you next week. Hope you guys have a good one.